Imagine a world populated by two-dimensional beings whom we will call flatlanders. They live on a flat plane much like characters in a drawing. These flatlanders can only perceive things on their 2D plane. Now, if a three-dimensional being entered their world, the flatlanders would perceive it as having godlike powers. For instance, a 3D being could reach into a flatlander safe and remove objects by moving them along the third dimension, something the flatlanders cannot comprehend or see. In their world, flatlanders would be amazed and confused by how objects disappear from a safe without breaking it open. They wouldn't see the 3D being if it moved above or below their 2D plane. This concept helps us understand how a higher dimensional being might interact with a lower dimensional world. Let's now explore the idea of the fourth dimension using an example of cross sections. If a three dimensional object like an apple passes through a 2D plane, the flatlanders would see a series of 2D slices of the apple. When the apple first touches their plane, it appears as a small dot. As it passes through, the dot grows into a circle, reaches its maximum size, and then shrinks back to a dot before disappearing. However, since flatlanders have one-dimensional retinas, they would only perceive a line segment at any given moment, not the full circle. This concept parallels how we, as 3D beings, see the world. Our eyes have two-dimensional retinas that only captures 2D projections of 3D objects. Our brains then process information to create a sense of depth and form a 3D image. For instance, we cannot see all sides of a cube simultaneously or what's inside it without looking from different angles. So, 3D beings cannot see the 3D object in its entirety. Fourth dimensional beings would experience a similar limitation with 4D objects. They would have three dimensional retinas, meaning they could see 3D projections of 4D objects on their 3D retinas. However, their perception would still be vastly superior to ours. For example, they could see all the sides of a 3D object and its insides at once. It is similar to how we 3D beings can see all parts of a 2D shape at a glance. For example, we can see all the sides and interior area of plane objects like rectangles, squares or triangles. If a 4-dimensional object passed through our 3D world, we would only perceive a series of 3D cross-sections of that object. This is because our 2D retinas can only capture 2D projections, limiting our ability to fully comprehend the 4D shape. Because of this, we will see 4D objects in 3D limitations. As 4D objects will move in 4 dimensions, we may see 4D objects as 3D objects changing shape or appearing or disappearing suddenly. Now let's delve into the superpowers of 4th dimensional beings. A 4D being could potentially travel through time, altering past decisions and creating new timelines. However, it should be noted that as no parallel universes exist in the fourth dimension, he can have a single timeline. Therefore, his old timeline will end and new timeline will start based on his changed decision. This ability stems from their higher dimensional perspective, which includes an extra dimension of space-time that we cannot access. Additionally, 4D beings could possess incredible observational powers. They could see inside solid objects, such as walls, rooms, and even our bodies, because their 3D retinas would capture the full 3D structure of the objects. This would allow them to observe internal mechanisms, 
and structures of 3D objects or our human bodies without physically interacting with them. Interestingly, a four-dimensional doctor would have abilities far beyond our current understanding of medical practice. In our three-dimensional world, doctors need to perform surgery by making incisions to access internal organs. This process is necessary because they can only interact with the body's surface and must cut through to reach internal parts. However, a four-dimensional doctor could see and interact with all parts of a patient's body without making any cuts. This is because the fourth dimension adds an extra layer of special access that we cannot perceive. Now, let me ask you one interesting question. Do you think it would be possible for us to imprison 4D beings in a 3D structure? Actually, a 4D being would be able to easily escape from 3D constraints. Just as we can move out of a 2D enclosure by stepping over its boundaries, a 4D being could move through the fourth dimension to bypass 3D barriers. This means that no physical structure in our 3D world could imprison them. They could simply step into the fourth dimension and reappear elsewhere. Besides this, since they can travel through time, they can escape prison by going to a time when they were not in prison and making different choices to avoid it. Alternatively, they can travel to the future when they will be released from prison. So friends, the extraordinary abilities of fourth dimensional beings would seem magical to us. Their capacity to perceive and interact with the world extends far beyond our own. They could manipulate time, see through objects and escape any physical confinement. These powers illustrate the profound differences between dimensions and challenge our understanding of reality. While we can only imagine what it is like to exist in a higher dimension, these examples provide a glimpse into the extraordinary capabilities that such beings might possess. The concept pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and invites us to think about the universe in new and intriguing ways. Friends, if you found the video interesting, then please like and share the video. And if you want to watch more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching.